Alright guys, how's it going? It's a Saturday night, I'm drinking coffee and I'm having a little browse of Facebook uh, and being slightly amused to be fair. Uh, but we have a user here, uh, Alex. Can someone advise me how to set up an object that the particles do not pass through? So essentially the problem is he's having clipping inside the mouth area, which is a common problem to be fair. You've got Umar down here that's a little bit click happy, uh, go to physics and click collision. Don't think that's a hundred percent accurate, mate. To be fair. Oh, good coffee, by the way. So let me just quietly jump in a blender, and I'll just knock something out. Hey, uh, so let's just add a modifier. Let's do a subdivision surface. Let's do it to two. Let's go to apply. Let's jump into the edit mode. Let's select some points. Really need to switch back facing off. Uh, Let's drop this down. Now I'm not going to make this a pretty dense mesh. Uh, I'll do a loop cut here. Uh, I'll move it up. I'll do another loop cut. Move it down. And then what I'll do is I'll select these four polys here just so we'll get a kind of move. Uh, I'll do an insert. Then I'll do another insert. I'll move it back slightly. And then I'll do an extrude. Something like that. Then what I'll do is I'll back into the modifier, subdivision surface, and I'll put it up to something like that. Okay, so we've got a basic shape. Sorry, that took a couple of seconds longer than I thought. Uh, so if we go into the particles, generally what most people do is you go to add particles, then they'll go to here and they'll get something strange. Uh, so the hair length will reduce this down. Now the issue the user is having is essentially the hair's clipping in the mouth and you don't want that because it will actually get worse when you animate. So there's a few options. Uh, you can go into particle edit and you can select these particles and delete them. But it's not necessarily the correct thing to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into object data and I'm going to create a new vertex group. And we'll just rename this for then the next thing to do, this is pretty common knowledge by the way, there's plenty of tutorials out there, especially regarding fur. And I'll go into weight paint. Now essentially we need the blue where the mouth is. Now there's a few ways to do this but I'm lazy, especially on a Saturday night. So we'll just do a gradient tool and we'll just write it down. Something like that. Now the other option is you select the brush tool and just scale the brush tool right up. And just paint. Kind of less. Uh, two seconds to switch these particles off just so we can see what we're doing. So right click. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weight right down and I'll bring the radius down as well. And now this isn't going to be perfect. So I'll just quietly paint in the mouth. Now you can see already what we're trying to achieve uh, by painting the mouth. a negative colour, the particles should in theory avoid the weight map. Now weight maps are pretty powerful in general, uh, especially if you're doing something like dynamic painting as well, they can be handy for that. Right okay, look, Picasso's not going to give me a 5 star reward for this but I'll use the smear tool. Smear, smear tool's pretty handy as well, uh, especially if you're lazy. So something like that, in theory. And we'll jump back into object mode and we'll go to a particle system and I'll enable it here. Now obviously the particles are still clipping. If you come into vertex group, it's controlled by the density. So you can see here we have got our fur. And now the fur's essentially missing. Now the weight map's not 100% perfect so you get maybe one or two. But what you can do is, let me put the number up. I'll try and stress it out a little bit. And let me put children on. And I'll do it interpolated. So you've got something kind of like this. And we'll go into edit, particle edit. Now you can see here you've got a cut tool. So you can actually cut these ones if they're causing you any trouble. Yeah, let's give it a bit of combing while we're here. Eh? Give it a bit of length. 
Hmm, the lead tool seems to be a little bit buggy at the moment. That's because you've not selected it, you idiot. So you'll get this kind of thing going on here. Uh, let me jump into the render engine. Go into cycles. Jump out of the particle edit mode. So I hope that's pretty much what you're looking for. Uh, just use a weight map, mate. I, sh I did put it in the comments, but you might not have seen it. Uh, thanks for watching. Do me a favour, guys. Like and subscribe. Helps the channel out. Uh, have a nice weekend. Peace.